Hi everybody, welcome back to Homemade and Homegrown. This is Tammy, for those of you who don't know me. Um, I'm going to be playing with peaches today. So we're in the kitchen, we're gonna do peaches in uh, simple syrup today. So I'm really gonna try to uh, do the best I can with handling the camera as well as doing this this project. My tripod broke, so I'm not gonna be completely hands-free. So, but I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna be following this uh, new home, this new book, Ball Complete Book of Home Preserving. Um, this was recommended by a lot of the homesteaders out there on YouTube, so I decided to pick up my own copy, and I just got it in the mail. I've been excited about receiving this. I've been looking at all the recipes in here. There's over 400 recipes that you can do in this book, so I'm excited about all the possibilities that, that are in this book for my family and myself. So um, if you are looking to get it, check it out on Amazon. I don't have any affiliate to them or uh, any compensation. So anyway, but I do recommend getting this as well. The one that I've been mostly uh, working out of actually is, which I love, is the uh, Amish. Let's try to open it here because I had it up my beans. I did beans the other day. So the Amish canning cookbook, I love this one too. So if any Buddy is looking for home preservation cookbooks. Though would those two would be the books that I would highly recommend. Okay, everyone. So the first thing I'm going to do is get these washed, and I'm going to uh, cut them in half to take the pit out, and then we're going to put it in our syrup. So we're going to make the syrup as well. Okay. So what the recipe calls for for the syrup is um, so there's a few different ones right here that I'm looking at and one is ultra light or extra light. So we're really trying to um, watch the sugar intake in our family. So I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with the extra light version of the syrup, which calls for five and a half cups of water. And what that will yield for syrup wise will be six cups because you're gonna add one and a half cups also of granulated sugar. So there's two cups, four, and another cup and a half, which makes five and a half cups of water. Now, also according to the book, when it says preventing fruit from browning, uh, when fruit is cut, peeled, pitted, or stemmed, the flesh is exposed to ox oxygen, and a reaction occurs that causes the exposed areas to turn brown. Light-colored fruits such as apples, apricots, Peaches and pears are particularly susceptible to browning, but cherries may also darken when pitted, as will grapes after they are stemmed. So this reaction, which is called oxidation, can be prevented by pre treating the fruit with an antioxidant such as citric acid or ascorbic acid, uh, ball fruit fresh produce protector or Bernardin fresh fruit, Produce protector is a combination of both. So to use, simply dissolve product protector in water or submerge cut fruit in a mixture of a half a cup, sorry, of a quarter cup lemon juice and four cups of water. I'd much rather the lemon juice and four cups of water, but uh, I have this and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead with this. Okay, so this is saying one teaspoon of fresh fruit protector to each cup of liquid in the recipe. So this is five and a half, so I'm gonna do five teaspoons of the fresh fruit. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, next is a one, one cup, no, one and a quarter cup of sugar. Okay, so one cup plus a quarter. So I've just turned on the heat as well. So this is going to be uh, dissolving the sugar on a medium, medium to high heat. Now, because we're hot packing, I've got my jars in the oven right now at 215. And they're going to be hot because you can't put hot liquid in cold jars. So you have to put them in the oven or somewhere that you can make them hot. So this is the best way to do it. I'm hoping to get six wide mouth pint jars 
for what I have. I may have more, but I'll start with six. Okay, so the next thing is, is once I get these cut up and cored, we're going to put them in the syrup to warm up. These are beautiful looking peaches. And they're nice and ripe, not hard at all. So I gotta get these in the can. So I'm gonna slice these guys in half. Just twist it, take the pit out like so. And I am gonna take this tomato core and I'm going to just kind of scrape a little bit of the, of the um, stringy part inside there just to get some of that out of there, just like that. It's not necessary really to do this, but anyway, that's just what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna get these done and put in the pot and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got them all quartered up here. I wanted to do it in quarters. You can do it however you want. You can pack them whole. You can pack them halves, quarters, whatever, diced. You can do whatever you want with them. And I thought also, just in case I might not have enough packing juice or syrup, um, I decided to make a separate batch. The chickens are gonna love this. Look what I got. I got a treat for you. See if I can do this one hand. Ooh. I'll give some to you guys and then we'll get some over to the other chickens. girls I got our treat for you yes come on girls look what I got for you yes so yummy got some for you too Would love them <laughs> but one thing I'm gonna say about peeling the peaches I think I'm gonna next time I do this I'm going to blanch them so that the peeling just slips off but anyway live and learn okay I'm gonna take the jars out one at a time and we're gonna start filling them up with the peaches but before I do um, just to let you know that I've already started on my canner this is water bath canning so I started heating up the water so that this is going to be hot as well. So there's not going to be any real uh, change in the heat from filling the jars to transferring them over to hot water. Okay, so we've got, whew, got a hot jar right there. And all, they don't want you to boil the peaches. They just want you to warm them up. Okay, so what we're going to do is you take a slitted or slotted spoon however you want to call it and you're going to I'm, I'm going to tip it a little bit just so that we can kind of lay them upright a bit as much as I can and put a few of them in there and then I'm going to adjust like move the peach around with my poker stick here that I got I don't want to touch the jar because it's really hot Okay. And I don't want to poke the peach too much because it'll mash it. Now the recipe called for uh, you to layer them and I didn't uh, keep them in halves. So quartering them, I'm just going to do the best I can and making sure that there's no big air pockets or anything like that. Okay, they want you to leave a half inch headspace with the peaches and then when you put the juice in you're going to also leave a half inch headspace. Okay, so I'm gonna ladle in 
the juice. Now one thing that's uh, awesome about this is that if you really want to completely not use any sugar whatsoever, you can pack these in just water. Okay, so that looks like a half inch headspace. And now we're going to wipe the lid with some vinegar to make sure that no sugar or food particles is on the top. I said wipe the lid again. Wipe the top of the rim. <laughs> okay, make sure that's wiped nice and good. And then get yourself a clean lid. Sorry, you're leaning up against the wall and you're not getting a good view. I don't think you are anyway. Okay, then you're going to put a ring on it. Just like that, fingertip tight. Don't reef on it. You're just, as soon as you feel... Uh, resistance then you're just gonna give a little like just a little tug okay and then put it in the canner okay we'll do another one and then so I don't keep you with all of them we will uh, bring you back as soon as I'm done filling these up but again okay and I'm gonna use my poker stick just to kind of try and stand them up a tiny bit without mashing them. I'm trying to be really careful not to mash them. Okay, get down in there. Whoops, ooh, that one off. <laughs> Do that one twice. Maybe a couple more, just right there. Okay, let me look. These are wide mouth jars, so I like working with them more than the narrow, regular size. I'm going to put that guy in there. <laughs> he is hot. Okay, let's get some juice in here. Oh, you know what I just... I totally forgot to debubble the other one. Shoot. Oh my word. See? Keeping it real, guys. Keeping it real. You do not want your jars to go in without being debubbled. Okay, let's try that again. I'm glad I caught that when I did. Right. Whew. Back in the canner. Okay, let's make sure this is debubbled. Okay, and make sure that's saying a half inch headspace. I've got it on this side. This is filled a little too much. So I'm just going to take a couple of the peaches out. Okay. Let's measure that again. There we go. We could use a little bit more juice though. There we go. Perfect. Okay, wipe the rim. Look at that guy poking up. So you got to make sure that they're submerged under the juice too. So I think I'm going to take that guy out. Yeah. There. Okay. Wipe the rim. New clean lid. And ring. And into the canner. So what I'm going to do is get these all filled up, put in the canner like so, and I'll bring you right back, okay? 
Okay, there we got it. We've got six cord or not cords, six pints of peaches in light syrup. And I'm gonna start turning this up because as you can see, it is starting to really warm up. So you wanna make sure that you've got, let me put this down over here. Make sure that you have an inch to two inches above the jars of water. Actually, I had room for one more, so I did a regular pint size jar there. So we've got a total of seven. So what I'll do is I'm going to bring that to a rapid boil and I'm gonna process them for 20 full minutes. And once they are finished, then we will bring you right back to see what the finished product is. I'm so excited, I can't wait to see. Okay guys, the timer went off. So I'm gonna leave these just for like two to three minutes um, in there before I take them out. Okay guys, here we go. So I brought the pot over here to my dining table where I've got all my canning stuff. Uh, yesterday I did just plain navy beans. They look good. And yesterday I also did tomato soup. So here we go with the peaches. Get in there. Get a good grip. Here we go. Still kind of boiling inside, so that's that's normal. Might have a bit of siphoning happening here. Yeah, I just did. So hopefully, not too much siphoning happens because it looks like I'm getting a few jars doing it. There you go. Freshly canned peaches. Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. You can do this too. It's so easy. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. So then what I'm going to do is put a towel over top of these, cover them up. Just because of the change of temperature. Try and do this with one hand. <laughs> There we go. I'll just cover them up like so and leave them there all day. Okay, that's it everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today while I canned peaches. Um, they smell and taste so good right now. I did take a little uh, taste of the syrup and it was really, really good. Just enough sweetness so it's not overpowering. So if you like this content, be sure to give the video a like as well as uh, subscribe. If you like my content, maybe somebody you know would enjoy learning how to do something like this. So be sure to share the video on your social medias and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss another video that I upload. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.